Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in your corner of the world. Voyager Digital announces Brian Brooks, former acting comptroller of the U.S. currency, joins the board of directors. And if you've been following the crypto community lately, you have seen some amazing stuff put out by Brian Brooks. He said a lot of great stuff recently at the discussion on the digital assets with Congress. And I think, you know, for Voyager, that's going to be a pretty significant move. So congrats to you. Voyager also on the XRP community was a little bit disappointing when it had suspended trading of XRP back in January of this year. But again, to me, I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing as XRP was intended to be for uh, the wholesale enterprise institutional level of the finance. And so for me, you know, I kind of have a, a, a mixed feeling on the delisting. To me, that was sort of a bullish thing. Obviously, you want to continue getting more XRP and stacking as a retail investor, someone who understands what the design of XRP is intended to do you want to keep stacking but at the same time if they're going to move forward in the direction that they would like to they're going to need all the xrp back basically so delisting to me is already the step of taking it halfway there and getting it ready to basically do what it's designed and intended to do so or again it's mixed emotions but i see it more bullish the delisting than than a negative i see it as a, an extreme positive so Conquering all the crypto privacy hurdles with Inherity and its backup solutions. Inherity by Safe Haven. Let's dive in a little if you're unaware. Inherity is the futuristic solution for inheritance plans and backup solutions brought to you by Safe Haven. And as the cryptocurrency and blockchain markets capture the attention of young and old alike, it becomes all the more critical to make it secure place in which to operate. So Safe Haven has designed a solution to secure one's most important information. But how does Safe Haven ensure the trust and security of the platform itself? Through the use of bug bounty programs and third party security audits. Safe Haven takes the steps to obstruct any possible gateway for mishap. And again, that is one of the, you know, what I call the extension of the VeChain community, the little network there with the, uh, you know, Safe Haven. And, you know, assets like Ocean EX, et cetera. And I do hold those as well. I do believe in them. Uh, you know, I believe it's going to be a little more long term, a few more years before an investor would possibly see like significant gains. But it's already been impressive this year alone with Safe Haven for those of us who hold it as retail investors. So the next article, Crypto Mainstream Adoption, is it here already as a question? Experts answer part one. And we're going to jump down to question number six here, or I should say section number six here, the segment from Danelle Denixon of Stellar Development Foundation. Man, I feel like it's my first time talking today after doing this for the second time. That is the beauty of technology. If your batteries are low and you're using wireless, it may not record the first take. So we're doing take two, and hopefully this one, when I'm done, all of it is there. So we will see. And Danelle Dixon is the CEO and Executive Director of Stellar Development Foundation, the SDF, a nonprofit organization that supports the development and growth of Stellar. Stating to that reply, in a word, interoperability. I talk about this all the time. For all of its inefficiencies and gaps, the traditional financial system is not going away anytime soon. And neither is cash. But this is what most people know best. And part of blockchain's value is in how it connects traditional and digital banking rails. More interoperability means more opportunities to bring people in, introduce them to the value that blockchain power services provide, and grow adoption beyond the crypto converted. Also to our wildcard, Shiba Inu developers are working on layer 2 scaling solution, the Shiba Rium. And the, let's dive down just a sec. The development of Shiba Inu, or I should say the developers of Shiba Inu are working on a layer 2 scaling solution. As noted in discussions over various communication channels, the project is also reportedly thinking about entering the metaverse. And guys, remember this is not financial advice, it's for entertainment purposes only. But as always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. 
The first step to success is to not give yourself any other options. I want to say much love to each and every one of you and to our VIP on Patreon, Surfmeister. We will catch you in the next one.